Hi everyone, time to shine Nick here. So it's my day off today, it's a Sunday and I've just got back from Glasgow. I was having a little spree in John Lewis today and I got myself a new laptop. Now I know on YouTube there's this thing where we do this unboxing of things. So I do actually have the laptop sitting over there and I thought it would be a good idea to um, experience opening it up and trying to set it up together. Um, I'm not the, well, I'm alright with technology, but I'm not the best, so, you know, I might struggle slightly, but <laughs> it could be interesting. Um, and if there's anything I'm not sure about, then I can always ask for help and, you know, if there's anything I need to download or any CDs I need to upload something on, then I can do that later. But uh, yes, we'll start with the unboxing now. Here is my laptop sitting here. It's a Lenovo make. And if Molly could get off, that would be wonderful. <laughs> she kind of wanted to check it out first. Anything with cardboard she likes to investigate. Won't you, missies? <laughs> this is her spot. She likes to look out the window. So, <laughs> well, got Molly off now and we'll start by getting this little sticker off, shall we? Oh, this is so exciting. I've actually already seen it, like, in the shop, but see, like, unboxing a fresh technology item, it's like, woo! Here we go. There we are, nearly there. Turn it round, I think that might be easier. There we go. Ooh. Get all the sponges out the road. <laughs> I think this is going to be easier with my camera set up properly. And then I can... Um, get the laptop out properly so bear with me. I think this is a bit better to do it this way. So I think this part might be the sound bar that's supposed to go with it. It's exciting. See like my last laptop's quite tinny uh, when it comes to sound and music so the guy in the shop said this will be really good for that. And here is the laptop here. So let's have a closer look at items here surrounding the laptop so this is a laptop here and I'm just going to take it out its protective cover <sighs> Ooh, so it's nice and shiny that's it there oh yeah you can see me in the <laughs> reflection you can see how shiny it is uh, it's got a very nice finish and the guy in the shop said it's a matte finish on the screen so that means like there's not got that glare, um, which is apparently really a lot better. Um, so it's a Lenovo uh, G51 laptop. Uh, it's eight gigabytes RAM and one TB, and it's also got a 15.6 inch screen. So I was advised, I was going to go for a different laptop, which had an i3 on it. Um, I think it's to do with like, space or memory or something um, and I was advised to go for an i5 and obviously that that was kind of going into my uh, price limit so I was advised to go for this different way of doing things and it's run by AMD rather than the i thing I'm not very good with technology I'm just kind of going briefly on um, what the guy was saying but uh, he, he, he advised that this laptop basically was going to be better than the one I was initially going for 
and I still ended up getting this one for uh, £299.95 um, so that was fine um, and it's also got a two year warranty on this as well which is fantastic and uh, yeah so I will mainly use this for browsing the net and writing documents and obviously doing my videos and he did say because I was interested in doing my videos and things like that um, and then eventually I would get editing software this this model was going to uh, take it a lot better than the one I was going to get so that's why I ended up going for this just to kind of give me a kind of sort of give me that flexibility uh, so that's good um, so yeah I'm quite happy with it so hopefully it'll all be okay when I turn it on <laughs> um, so we'll get rid of this cling film stuff if I can oh there we go oh nice and shiny oh <laughs> don't you dare come and step in this laptop so now I know I said this was the sound bar but like I think this bit is the sound bar here it's inbuilt and also there's a webcam up there which is great so I'm not sure what this bit is now now that I've looked at it I'm gonna bring it out hmm may have to look at the instructions for that one <laughs> So yeah, there's going to be a lot of uh, learning involved with this. I've never once in my life set up a laptop on my own. This is very new for me. Not entirely sure what this plug is. I probably shouldn't be doing this myself. <laughs> um, I think this is the adapter. And I think probably that plug... <gasps> Oh yeah, so that plug will probably connect to each other, right, and then it'll go in the wall. Right, got you. So that goes together. This I will need to look up. I'll look at the booklet. And, uh, yeah. So we'll uh, try to get this fired up, shall we? So I figured out that this is actually a battery, part, a battery pack. So, um, yeah, it goes in the back of the laptop, which is this big massive gap, right at the back there. So, sorry if I don't talk too much, I'll be focusing game face and all that. Yeah, did you hear that click? So that's the battery in. So you can see that there. That took a little bit of perseverance, but I uh, managed to clip it in fine. And the next part is to connect it to its adapter means. So let's see. Oh. By the way, there's some bub bubble wrap with this. Every, no matter what age you are, you always turn into that five-year-old when you get some bubble wrap. So, enough of that nonsense. Back to business. I hate tangled wires. <laughs> so this little bit here goes in the little ducket here. And then the wee USB 
I would imagine was in there a little bit. And then click this off and plug in. So let's do that, shall we? So that's it plugged in. So let's see if it will. Ooh, there's a little light there. So I'd imagine we just get to turn it on. Way we we have life. Da dum. Perfect. That might take a bit of time to. And basically, the instructions just then tell me to follow the on-screen instructions. So hopefully, it won't be too complicated. So I thought this would be a good time to tell you uh, about the sound bar. I'm really excited about this. Um, so basically, most laptops, or a lot of laptops say anyway, are quite, you know, like I said, tinny uh, when it comes to sound. But this is powered by uh, Dolby Audio. So as I said, I was told it was pretty good. So I just thought I'd throw that bit in there. I just forgot to mention that. Oh, so what's going to happen here? So sorry if this is a bit glary. But uh, just sharing the experience with you. So I am from United Kingdom. English. What keyboard layout would you like to use? Yeah. Don't think it matters, does it? I don't know. Is there one for the UK? If it's not, it's fine. I can go with the US. Don't really mind. United Kingdom. There we go. What time zone? Yes, that's fine. Next. go now we've got some legal stuff let's get connected yep virgin media connecting to wi-fi Woo! oh i need to put in my uh passcode okay okay that's fine just bear with me so that's my Wiffy password done. <laughs> I like calling it Wiffy. <laughs> so right now I'm just going through my customising of settings to the laptop, so you don't need to see this part. Ah, that's nice of you. Oh, getting critical updates. So, I have managed to successfully set up my computer with its various settings. I'm actually quite proud of myself. <laughs> so yeah, I'm obviously a bit more savvy at tech than I thought. So it's quite nice with this little sort of, uh, I don't know, peacock tail? I don't know. Anyway, uh, but everything seems to be okay. So along the bottom, I know you can't really see that very well, I do apologise. Um, but I'll just tell you what it says here. There's Internet Explorer. There is the uh, the files, like all your documents and stuff. There's also the Microsoft uh, Store, so you can download different things. Um, I don't know what this one is. It's a user manual, so there's manuals there you can get help if you need to set anything up. Um, and this is Lenovo Photomaster, the one with the little face. So I would imagine that's where you can edit photos and make up slideshows and whatever. We've got our uh, McAfee Live Safe which is great that that's already on there. I actually thought I would have to download or buy like I would actually have to buy it or something but the device is protected with McAfee Live Safe, antivirus, anti-spam, spyware, firewall, web protection. Fantastic! 
So at the moment I'm just having a browse around. It's Windows 10, so I actually had Windows 10 on my last laptop, but I don't think it was like the full version, if that makes sense. Like, I think this has everything, which is brilliant. So at the moment I'm downloading Facebook app, which is interesting, which I guess would just be like a shortcut into the website rather than having to go onto Google and then whatever. So that's interesting. I never, I never knew you could do that in a laptop. I'd, I thought like you could only have apps like on a tablet or a phone. Hmm. Well, you can learn something new every day. So we've also got other apps here. You can actually play Candy Crush. Oh dear. <laughs> that's going to be too, uh, too handy. And get Skype there in the little tabs. You've got your Xbox stuff. I don't have an Xbox, I probably couldn't even use all that. Um, but there's quite a lot of stuff on this. So yeah, you get the idea of the laptop. I'm actually going to just um, go off camera now and have a good play around with it myself and uh, get used to it. And also what I'll need to do is take photos and documents off my old laptop to put on there and then that means I can get rid of my brick that is my Dell computer. I've actually, to be fair, my last laptop, which is just that one down there, it has lasted me a long time, six years old. Um, and yeah, it's, it, it really is coming apart. Uh, I actually have this extra lap, this keyboard here, which is still good. I need to give it back to my dad though. Um, but you can see there that there's keys missing and that keyboard doesn't work because I spilt stuff on it. That is not going to happen with this, I can assure you. I've already, I'm already feeling quite protective of this laptop already. Like I feel like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be very careful. And uh, this another thing about this laptop is very heavy. It's a good, I say it was a good laptop. It lasted well, but it was very heavy to hump around. So I'm quite glad that this one is fairly light, which is great. Um, but yeah, sadly that one has to go to the cope at some point. I did ask my dad, or oh, any chance I could sell it to some to some company, they could take the parts and get, I can get money. And my dad was like. Uh, no, <laughs> not for this age of laptop. Um, so yeah, we don't think this this one isn't going to be around much longer. So yeah. Anyway, um, so um, so yeah, I'm quite excited. Like I have been meaning to buy a new laptop for a good few years now, and now finally got round to it. So I'm pretty chuffed. Anyway, I just thought this would be interesting and yeah, I, what I will do, because I'm not the best at technology and I don't really know much about specs, I don't really want to pretend that I do, um, so I know earlier on I was kind of like, eh, yeah, it's got this, it's got that, so if you are interested in this laptop or you're interested in, in any laptop and you're not sure what to get, what I'll do is I will link um, the laptop that I got from John Lewis from its web from the website in the description and you can have a read um, of all the spec information and you can see for yourself if you think that it would suit your needs and um, if you have any comments about it or you know if you have this laptop already uh, what do you think of it um, I'd like to know <laughs> it'd be quite cool um, and if you like this video please hit subscribe as I do loads of different hauls and demonstrations and various things and uh, yeah thanks very much for stopping by and hopefully catch you in the next video bye